Hey Leo, it's about that time for your love reading. It's about that time. This video is going to be for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. I already have up Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer. So if this reading doesn't resonate for you, check out your other placements or you can book your personal reading through the link in my description box, which is my website. I have a bunch of different services on there, but if you would like this exact service I'm going to do or this exact reading that I'm going to do for you guys, it would be the Let's Chat About Love Service in parentheses it's involved that would be the reading that i'm going to do for you guys today so i have two different ones let's chat about love with involved in the parentheses and another one with separated in the parentheses so definitely make sure you book the one fit for your situation but this specific reading it will be the let's chat about love in parentheses and involved on my site link is in the bio now as i do this reading we'll see if this is somebody that you're involved with, somebody that you're separated from. We will see as I go. But this is going to be for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And I'm going to dive right on in. Okay, so Leo, who is your love interest? Who is this person? Okay. Cards is already flying. Who is your love interest? One card at a time, please. Somebody you don't trust. You do not trust them. And I feel like you always catch them red-handed. Ace of Swords. I feel like you always catch this person red-handed. Like, even if you yourself don't actually catch them red-handed, I feel like you receive signs about this person. Like, in your dreams, you may receive signs about whether your person is, you know, cheating on you or whatever the case may be. Like, I feel like if you don't openly catch this person red-handed, you receive some type of sign that in the moment you're like, Oh, no, that can't be. Oh, no, that's just a dream. Or, oh, no, that's just my thoughts. That's just paranoia. Or that's just anxiety. But then a few days or even a few weeks later, you realize, oh, shit, I was right. Like, that that wasn't just a feeling or a thought or a dream. That was real life. Like, that was a warning. So I feel like you don't really trust your person because you always catch them acting or doing something that they're not supposed to be doing. With the Ace of Swords, I feel like communication is very shaky between you two. Like, I feel like at first you expected this person to be very open and honest, but then you realize, like, no, they're not that. And I also feel like you realize it's a facade. Like, I feel like at one point they were open and honest, but it was sort of their way of, like, tricking you into thinking they can be trusted. Like, okay, the first two months we're dating, I'm going to be completely open and completely honest and completely transparent. And then I'm going to become, you know, the liar that I am or the snake that I am. Just so going forward, my Leo can think, oh, they're very honest. They're very blunt. Even if it hurts my feelings, they're going to be honest. But in all reality, it's, it's like it was a game to them. Like, okay, let me act this way so they can believe that I am that. But let me really be who I am. If that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. But it's like, you know, sometimes with certain people... When you first start off with them, they're so honest and they told you they told you about their past love life and their past lovers and, you know, the faults that they cause in those relationships and this and that. And then out of nowhere down the line, you start realizing, damn, this motherfucker been lying to me. So it's like I feel like this person at one point, they were very honest, but it was just a trick to get you thinking, oh, they wouldn't lie to me because they're not like that the whole time. They are like that. They're just tricking you into thinking they're not like that. So what's going on in this love connection? What's happening here? Give me a little backstory, please. One part at a time. This person could possibly be an air sign with the Ace of Swords here. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Give me one more card. Oh, that Lover's card came out. But too many cards came out with it. I only want one at a time. Give me one more card, please. One more card. Sheesh, these cards is just falling, falling, falling. Uh, you're understanding that it may be time to let this person go. You're understanding that it may be time to end things. I see that you really don't want to. I see you really want to hold on to this person. I see you really want to try for this connection. You want to try to make things work. But you're beginning to realize this may not be the relationship for me. This may, this may not be the lover for me. The Five of Cups, I see you feeling really sad. It's like, it's tearing you apart. Because it's like, now the reality of things is hitting. The reality of things is hitting. 
It's no more pretending. It's no more faking. It's no more any of that. Like, you're beginning to look at the reality. Like, damn, this person is a liar. Or, damn, this person is always ghosting me. What are they doing? Or, damn, this person, they're so... Uh, unappreciative and not affectionate like I just see you're beginning to see this person for who they are and it's really hurting you because you are hoping for the best alrighty let's dive right on in so Leo what is your energy towards your love interest and the love connection you two share what's your energy towards your love interest and the love connection you two share my Leo's What is their energy? What is my Leo's energy? Page of Pentacles. Six of Swords. Not you willing to give this person another chance. Not you really willing and considering presenting like an ultimatum or another chance like hey i'm willing to forgive you if going forward you can stop this this and that or if you can begin acting this way or doing things like this like you're literally willing to give this person a second chance when they already showed you who they really are i'm disappointed in you leo i'm disappointed in you you're really willing to give this shitty ass person another chance I'd be damned. I don't like that. I don't like that. They don't deserve you. They literally do not deserve you. You're literally willing to give this person another chance. And my thing is with this page of pentacles, like you can see, like maybe this person is experiencing, you know, dwarfism, whatever, whatever. But you can see, like, visually this is your love interest they're very immature it's like they're a grown person in a child's body like a man child or a woman child and you're sitting here willing to give them another chance willing to present them another offer when they're so undeserving what is the mutual energy between them two my leos and their love interest what is the mutual energy between them two I mean, granted, you both are willing to give things another chance, but it's like with your person, is your person really going to change? Lord knows. Judgment, Tower, Ace of Wands. Like, I can see, yeah, the both of you are willing to give the connection another chance, but it's like, you know, it does take two to tango, but I see your your love interest is more at fault than you. And that's my biggest issue. Your love interest is more at fault than you. And not only that, I feel like it's the sex. I feel like it's really the sex between you two. Like if the sex wasn't so good, you probably wouldn't be worried about them the way you are. You probably wouldn't consider a second chance. You probably would have been left them in the cold, left them in the dust. Like, I feel like if the sex wasn't as good as it was, it would have been easier for you to let this person go. But I feel like the sex is what's keeping you tied in. Not even soul ties or sex ties. It's just maybe other people couldn't please you the way that this person could. And you don't want to give up on that because it's like, in your eyes, you may be feeling like, damn, how long am I going to have to wait until I meet someone who can actually please me? Huh, not you considering continuing to sleep with the damn devil. <laughs> but the both of you are willing to give things another chance, a second chance. So if you've done something that made you at fault, or if they've been blaming something on you, and you're thinking, oh, they don't want to get back together with me, they do. They do. Alright, so my Leo's love interest, what is their energy towards my Leo's and the love connection they share? What is their energy? Towards my Leos and the love connection they share. Justice, Libra energy. The Magician, Aries energy. And then we have that Four of Pentacles again, but upright. 
Oh no, too many cards. I lied. Let me get one more card, please. All right. Well, your love interest, they, they do want to work on things. They do. I give them that. They want to work on things, and they're going to speak about that soon enough. They're going to let it be known that they want to focus on a connection with you. They want to focus on making things better. They want to focus on balancing things out. With the Justice and the Magician, I don't know why I'm picking up the energy. They may even express, like, couples counseling or, you know, um, um, separate therapy sessions, journaling together or separate. Like, I don't know what it is, but I feel like your love interest, they're going to take some type of, um, some type of counseling route or therapy route. They may express that or they may let you know like, hey, you know, I'm deciding I'm, I'm going to go to therapy. I think you should too. Blah, 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 whatever, whatever. But I do see your love interest wants to continue working on the connection. I can definitely see that. Are their intentions genuine? I'm not seeing that it isn't genuine, so that's good. What is my Leo's love interest? Next action towards my Leos for the rest of April. For the rest of April, what is their next action towards my Leos? For the rest of April. The Hermit. Virgo Energy. What else is their next actions? Queen of Cups. King of Swords Reverse. See, they're going to be distant from you. For the rest of April, they're going to be very distant from you. Clarification on this Queen of Cups. Ten of Swords. Clarification on this King of Swords Reverse. Queen of Wands. Oh, hell no. Is there somebody else in the picture? Yes or no? Yes or no? Oh, gosh. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Lovers, Gemini Energy. I'm not going to lie. Your love interest may be very distant from you because there may be someone else in the picture that they're trying to end things with. Or they're trying to distance themselves from. But it's taking forever for that to happen. There's someone else in the picture, whether it be an ex, a third party that you do know about, a new love interest that they've been flirting with and communicating with. There is someone else in the picture. And they're going to be distant from you for the rest of April because of that other person. But it's not even because... They don't want to be with you. They'd rather be with them. It's not because they're worried about being with them. I feel like your love interest is actually trying to end things with whoever it is. Like, I mean, officially, completely, 110% end things. As in no communication, no uh, hanging out, nothing. Absolutely nothing. But for some odd reason, it's going to take time for it to reach that point. Like, I don't know if this other person is obsessive. I don't know if this other person is the type of person, you know... To, to how can I say it like that just won't give up I don't know what it is about this other person if this is someone from their past who they were with for a really long time I'm not too sure but it's going to take them some time to actually release this person and in April they're going to be distancing themselves from you and I feel it's to not hurt you like I feel like they don't want the truth to come to the light not to save their ass but just not to cause you any more pain any more hurt so it's not like in for the rest of April, they're going to be ignoring you because they want to be with this other person. No, they're trying to calmly end things with this other person. Because we got two queens here. We got the king of swords here in reverse and the lovers. And then even in this ten of swords, we got three people. Damn it. So there is somebody else in the picture. Well, that could be the reason for their funny behavior. Well, damn. Let me get some advice for my Leos. 
Let me get some advice for you, some Leos. Six of Cups reverse. One more card. Learn from your past. Learn from your past. If this is something that you experienced in your past, nine times out of ten, you know how this connection is gonna end. Learn from your past. You've been you've you've learned lessons from past connections, from past friendships, even. And you need to apply that to this specific connection. Don't sit there and be delusional hoping for the best. Yeah, hoping for the best is cool, but there's a difference from hoping for the best and just simply being delusional. And you need to decipher where you're at with that. Don't fight off the lessons that you learned. Don't deny the lessons that you already learned hoping for the best with this person. You need to remember what you've learned in your past and apply it to this relationship, to this connection. But this is the end of your reading. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. Make sure you hit that like button if you haven't already. It will help with the algorithm and it will help me get more exposure. Definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And once again, if you'd like to book your personal reading, you can do so through the link in my description box, which is my website. I have a bunch of different services on there, but this exact one would be the Let's Chat About Love in in parentheses it says involved. So definitely make sure you check that out. But have a great day, great night whenever you see this, you guys.